I'm going to call it Pritzkerville, because every one of Governor Pritzker's extreme policies are destroying the city out of control. After four months of calling Chicago a hellhole, Darren Bailey coined a new nickname tonight during what was likely the final face-to-face -face debate between Democrat J.B. Pritzker and his Republican challenger. It was less unruly than their first encounter, but the men tangled on crime, schools, and abortion. Political editor Mike Flannery joins us now live with more. Mike. Well, Don and Corey, State Senator Bailey's said he could cut state spending by 10 to 15 billion dollars, about a third of the budget, saying everything ought to be on the table, including state funding for local schools. Our children here in, in Chicago receive $29,000 per student, yet Chicago schools, they're, they're failing our children. More money is not the problem. Accountability and transparency is the answer. We have increased education funding by $1.3 billion, and that really is improving our schools. U.S. News & World Report has named us number one among the top 10 most popular states no in way. the nation no for pre-K to 12 education. When the debate turned to abortion, Bailey declined to discuss his previous support for a ban with no exceptions, arguing that it's not really an issue now because Illinois' Democratic-controlled General Assembly would inevitably block any changes he might propose. The state, for 30 years, Democrats have had a stranglehold on our, on our, our legislative process. Darren Bailey constantly talks about repealing the Safety Act on day one, but then at the same time, he says he can't repeal reproductive rights. Which is it? Either he doesn't understand the legislative process or he's lying about his positions. The men tangled as well on the controversial Safety Act, which is, as of January 1st makes it more difficult for police and prosecutors to put accused violent offenders in jail before a trial. Bailey did promise immediate repeal. Pritzker said he'd amend it, not end it, but once again offered few specifics. The final question. I like your suits. You look good in them. And I'm, I, I think that's awesome. And I hope that after the election we can come to terms and maybe you could take me suit, suit shopping. I admire the fact that you married your high school sweetheart, that you've been together now for, I think, 30 years. That shows deep commitment. That's, uh, the, that, those final sound bites were uh, what they said when they were asked to say something nice about each other. We'll be counting the votes November 8th, exactly three weeks from tonight. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.